Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing amazing. In this video, I will be talking about press open work permits. Initially, you were supposed to wait for four months till your work permit expires, but now, even after your work permit has expired, you can apply for a bridge work open work permit. And in this video, I'll be explaining you in detail everything that you need to. So, BOWP is just for eligible work permit holders who have applied for Canadian PR which allow them to keep working in Canada while their decision on permanent residency is awaited. So it's a way for them to give a scope to still stay active. As per the changes announced in September, there's no longer a limit on when you can apply for the WOB, BOWP. Initially, within four months of your work permit's expiry date, that was the date initially. But that was an old rule that not eligible to apply for the BOWP if your work permit had expired. But now this rule is no longer in picture. And you may now be eligible if your status has expired and you are eligible for restoration or if you are in Canada on maintained status. So if you are in any of these status, you can still work for it or apply for it. BOWP has opened to the following types of applicants. As you can see, PNP, if they have a copy of the nomination letter that indicates their employment is unrestricted and they selected open work permit on their application form. So that's for PNP applicants. That's what they need to prove. And agri food pilot applicants, if they submit their application online and provide their approval and principal letter in the client information field with their application, that is along with their application, they have to provide this principal letter under the client information field. Next, Cubic skilled workers, they become eligible after their file passes a completeness check. So that's their eligibility criteria for the Cubic skill workers. And uh, Cubic skill workers and PNP applicants may be valid for 24 months or until their passport expires. And it is different for different categories of Cubic and PNP. The validation is for a period of 24 months and BOWP is issued to people in other immigration categories will be valid for a period of 12 months. So that's the difference on the basis of categories. Now who is eligible for a BOWP? Federal Skill Worker Program, Canadian Experience Class, Federal Skills Trade Programs, Caring for Children Class or Caring for People with High Medical Needs Class before June 18, 2019. Provincial nominee program for applicants for who do not have employer restrictions or nominations, agri food pilot, cubic skilled worker class. So these are the um, programs through which you can file your permanent residency and uh, then you can have your W B O W P. Oh God, why I keep on saying W. So you have to have your permanent um, per application for permanent residency awaited for these things. Spouses and common law partners, they need to have additional documentation. Also, your BOWP must be valid for a minimum of six months, regardless of which program you applied for. So if it is valid, only then your spouse or common law partner can do it. And also, if you will see that you must be in Canada, but your partner may be inside or outside the country. So it's irrespective of the fact, but you have to be within Canada. And because the only purpose is that's why LMIA is ruled out because you're already within the country. Federal Skill Worker Program, Canadian Experience Class, Caregiver Applicants before June 18, 2019, Agri Food Pilot. If you've applied under this category for residency, your spouse may only qualify for a work permit if you work in a skilled occupation which falls under the National Occupational Classification NOC skill levels 0, A, B, or you can say O, A, or B. So that is if you've applied for residency through this that stream. And if you've applied it for cubic skilled worker or, or PNP class, then the skill level of your occupation does not matter for your spouse's eligibility. So it changes with which level or which category you have basically applied. So that's how BOWP is affected with respect to your spouse's eligibility also. So that's all about it. That's all about it. If you need any further information, please message me or email me and let me know. Take care. Bye.